Loma Linda University's Medical Simulation Center is an 8,000 square foot, state-of-the-art virtual hospital located on the fourth floor of the Centennial Complex. Each of the fully functional training areas reflects the realities encountered in actual care settings. In the event of a disaster, the facility is designed for rapid conversion to an emergency response center. Scene safety, gentlemen. Scene safety. We got one down. Agonal respirations right now. Kittens to your side. Got a man down. Obvious auto TC. Compound tip tip, compound tip tip. There. Compressions. The pre-hospital is the training room for emergency and disaster scenarios. This room provides top training for first responders, such as paramedics and fire crews. Mike, once you get that, I'm going to have you take over compression until I grab yep. the airway. The room can be staged to simulate almost any emergency response scenario. Adjacent to the pre-hospital is the emergency department. Yeah, you take point, man. All right. Hey, Al, how you doing? How you doing, sir? Doing okay? Sir, sir. Oh, pulses are getting really slow. No pulse. Pretty cardiac. Pretty cardiac. Oh, no. You dropped in. All right. All right, so, so this begins. BLS. You said okay. no pulse? Yes. No, no pulse. No pulse. You're going to get the code card. You're going to see PR. Excuse me. One and two and three and four and five. Eight and nine and ten. Twelve and thirteen and fifteen. Fifteen and sixteen and seventeen and eighteen and nineteen and twenty and twenty one and twenty two and twenty three. Charge, please. Charging. I'm clear, you're clear, we're all clear. Clear, clear. Shocking. Here we go. 80. Okay, you're done, you saved him. All right, now we. OR1 is designed to accommodate dental students with a dental chair and functional anesthesia machine. This room can also be used for low fidelity task trainer simulations. The intensive care unit provides the space necessary to house multiple hospital beds. Equipped with several fully functional head walls, learners have the capability to perform the tasks essential to the ICU. The equipment in OR2 includes an operating table, anesthesia machine, medication carts, and a boom arm all contributing to a realistic operating room environment. Well, we're going to give you some medicine through your IV to help you go to sleep. We'll be placing an oxygen mask over your nose and mouth to give you some oxygen to breathe, okay? Sounds all right. great. And after you are asleep, we'll be placing a breathing tube in your mouth that goes down to your vocal cords. This is after you're asleep, okay? Okay, put it in carefully then. I will, absolutely. It is even a cooler temperature in OR2 to better replicate the actual environment of an operating room in the hospital. All right, we're 23 centimeters at the cheek when we're plating the cuff. Yeah. Sam, a high fidelity mannequin, has realistic heart and lung sounds, bowel sounds, chest rise and fall, and pulses. Learners can practice oral intubation, nasal intubation, tracheostomy, and cricothyrotomy. He can have IVs placed in his arm and can have Foley catheters placed. Sam also has full physiological monitoring. Let's do some epinephrine. Let's do 25 micrograms. 25 micro, uh, epinephrine given. Okay, all right. Let me go ahead and turn our seal back on to that tube for right now. I want to make sure that the patient's going to be able to adequately breathe with ventilator assistance before we have him start his lap fully. Okay. Much better. The neonatal intensive care unit is connected to OR2. The NICU is incorporated into the continuum of care with the ability to transfer a newborn directly from the OR into the care of NICU personnel. The NICU has cribs, incubators, and supplies that make it a realistic setting. Let's try and speak. Okay. Yep. Okay. 
Can you do the best one? Okay. The hospital room provides an environment for a variety of simulations, from an inpatient simulation to labor and delivery. Noelle has realistic heart and lung sounds, pulses, and seizure activity. She has the ability to simulate various scenarios, including normal childbirth, breech birth, limb presentation, shoulder dystocia, and postpartum hemorrhage. Noelle also has full physiological monitoring, as well as fetal heart monitoring. The task training room is available to learners 24 hours a day, six days a week. Here, learners can practice on the LAP Mentor, our laparoscopy simulator, as well as IV arm simulators, and Harvey, our simulator used for lung and respiratory instruction. Retractable walls divide the training rooms, allowing for the transfer of care among medical professionals. Each simulation room is accompanied by an adjoining observation and debriefing room. From these rooms, instructors and peers are able to view an ongoing simulation through one-way glass or watch a live video feed on the monitors. After the simulation is complete, students are able to watch their simulation as they debrief their completed scenario. Featuring the latest cutting-edge technology in simulation, Loma Linda University's Medical Simulation Center is preparing healthcare professionals for excellence in patient care. <laughs>